One of the cool things about being a Cisco instructor and blogger is that you get to know all the other Cisco instructors and bloggers, and we all help each other out and share stuff with each other. From that, I got access to networklessons.com, which is Rennie Molnar's site, just a couple of days ago. So what I'm going to do in this video is a review of networklessons.com, and I'm going to answer the question, is it worth the monthly subscription fee or not? So I'll do that by covering the content that is included and also comparing it with other similar services that are available like INE, Internet Work Expert, and CBT Nuggets. So I've already got my username and password. I'm in to networklessons.com right now. And this is what you'll see when you log in. So you see the menu up at the top, there's the different courses. So networklessons.com, it focuses on Cisco. It can take you from learning the CCNA up to CCIE in routing and switching. And for all of those different exams that are required on the way, you'll see that there's a separate course for each one. The menu are also broken down into the different routing and switching topics as well. There's also a forum that I'll show you in a minute. And that's pretty much it. You can get support as well and also view your account details. So first up, let's have a look at how the courses work. And right now, I'm in my little recording studio bunker on wireless and the wireless is not great in here because it has to go through these really thick walls. So what I've done is I, I started recording the video and it was driving me nuts waiting for the pages to load because my, my network access is slow while I'm in here. So I've opened up the tabs ahead of time. So here is the CCNA routing and switching course. And if I scroll down, this threw me a little bit at first, actually, you have to click on the plus button here to expand it out into the different lessons. So this covers everything that's included in the ICND1 exam. And if I go to one of these, let's just pick any one at random. Okay, TCP header, and you'll see the style of the lessons. Now, networklessons.com is different than my style of teaching the CCNA because I focus on video lessons. If you look at my blog, you'll see that I've got text there as well, but really it's the video that I focus on. I put all the time into developing the slides for the videos and making the videos really good. I do have the text there as well, but videos are the main thing for me. For networklessons.com, it's actually the other way around. There are some videos available, but most of the material is in a text format. But the text format is really good. It's really simple to understand, but thorough at the same time. So like, honestly, this was just a random lesson I've picked here, but I know already that it's going to go really in depth on this topic. So you can see it's, the layout is really nice and easy to read. The description is very easy to understand as well. It's got lots of diagrams that explain everything. And actually, I probably could have picked a better lesson. Let's go back and find one that goes into a, an area that would require configuration that isn't just the introductory fundamentals. So I'll go a bit further down. Let's go to the routing protocols and here's routing fundamentals and let's look up rip maximum paths for example again this is the first time that i've seen this one but for sure it's going to have again the same easy to understand description and it's got a topology diagram so you can lab it up yourself if you want and here are all the configuration examples now a big reason, a huge reason that I like this is normally if you Google for Cisco, a topic area configuration example, cisco.com will be the first hit. And the Cisco documentation, it's very thorough, but it can be too thorough. And 
Another thing is under configuration examples, they show all of the different possible options, which makes things really confusing. When I go and look for a configuration example, I want to know how this is actually configured in the real world, best practice. I don't want to know all of the other options bundled in there as well that nobody hardly ever uses. I just want to know this is the normal best practice configuration that you're going to use. It's much easier to understand that way. And for when I'm working in the real world, it shows me the configuration I should actually be using. That's what you get on networklessons.com. So a really good thing about it is the the lessons or the, the articles are very easy to understand and the configuration examples are really good as well. Another thing is it's mostly in a text format. Now you could buy a book, but if you buy a, and the book could be great, like um, Todd Lamley's books are excellent. I always recommend those. But the thing with a book is you can't copy and paste from it. So if you're working in the lab, it's great that you can just come in here and to save you typing everything in, you can just copy and paste this into a text editor like Notepad, edit it a little bit, and then you can paste it straight in. So this can save you time as well. Okay, so that is how the courses work. So there's courses from CCNA broken down into ICND and ICND2. Then there's CCNP routing and switching broken into the different exams for that. And then it also goes up to the CCIE level as well. And there's also ASA firewall. All of those lessons are the same quality as this, where it's a really good full description, very simple and with really good configuration examples. So that's the first thing you get is the courses. Another thing to show you an example of this, if I go into the search box, and search for BGP, you'll see the depth of material as well. So it's not going to give me just one BGP article about BGP fundamentals. It's got loads of different BGP articles in here. So this takes you all the way up to CCIE level and whichever topic within BGP you want to learn about, for example, BGP communities is showing here, then you can go here you'll get that same simple explanation and the configuration examples. And it also shows you how you can do it in the lab as well. So you get even deeper knowledge of it. Okay, so that is the material, really good text material. The other thing that you get in here is the forum. Now, a lot of sites have forums and you'll find that the forums aren't very active, but the forums are very active here. Just just up at the top here, I can see the latest post here was in an hour. The next one was two hours ago. So most of these different topic areas, people are posting every day in them. You'll also notice that very often it's Rennie who was the last person that posted because Rennie is active in the forums as well. So if you do have any questions, you can ask Rennie in here and he will get back to you. Okay, so that pretty much shows you networklessons.com. And actually I didn't need to use these other tabs. My internet connection managed to hold up. So that is good. Let me try one other thing. So if I go into Google and I did actually check this one already. So I know that Rennie is gonna be on the first page, but really if, if you Google for pretty much any Cisco topic, you're going to find that networklessons.com is going to be in the first page of results. But for BGP communities, it's the very first one after obviously Cisco is going to be first. So that shows you the, the quality of the articles that are available on there. Okay, so what hopefully you can see that yeah, it's really good. Like I, I wish that this had been available for me back when I was doing my CCNA and my CCNP. So last thing really to talk about is the pricing so i got this open in another window to save loading it up for monthly membership it is 29 dollars per month for annual membership you get two months for free it works out at 290 dollars per year let's compare that with the other options now so the two main other options where you can sign up for a, a monthly membership 
to learn CCNA, CCMP, CCIE are INE, Internet Network Expert, and CBT Nuggets. So let's compare the prices there. So INE, they have their all access pass. And the cost for that is if you sign up for a minimum of six months, it's $117 per month. $84 if you sign up for a year, $71 if you sign up for two years, and these plans, you pay them up front. So you can see that INE is a lot more expensive than Network Lessons. Also, CBT Nuggets, the price for this is $84 per month. With CBT Nuggets, the same as Network Lessons, you can cancel at any time, so you don't need to sign up for a long period like you do with INE. Now, these are good options as well. If you're wondering, well, why are INE and CBT Nuggets so much more expensive than Network Lessons? The reason is that they have got more material. Networklessons.com focuses on routing and switching. Comparing that with INE, INE has got more instructors, they've got more topics, so they don't just have routing and switching, they have all of the other tracks as well. INE do have CCNA and CCNP training where they really made their name was at CCIE training. So if you asked me what would I recommend if you were going to study CCI security or CCIE wireless or something like that, definitely I would recommend INE for sure they're the best in the business for that. INE, they do have written material as well. Like me, they focus on video tutorials. So that is INE. So if you were going to choose between networklessons.com and INE, well, the cost is going to come into it. So if you're studying for CCNA and CCNP routing and switching, networklessons.com is really good and it's a lot more affordable. If your worker paying for it and you don't care, get get both of them if you can only get one what would i what i would advise you to do is have a look at the videos from both because different instructors have got different teaching styles if i look at the videos from i and e and look at the the written tutorials from networklessons.com if you have to choose one or the other pick which one you like best as you've seen the, the content on networklessons.com is really good the content on INE is great as well. There's an instructor there, Brian McGann, who is one of my favorite instructors. When I'm learning CCIE level material, he is probably my favorite instructor. There's a few others I really like as well. Brian McGann, right up there, he's a great instructor. Some of our other instructors, not so good. But again, this is a personal preference thing. So you might love one of our other instructors and, and not love Brian McGann so much. Really, it depends on you. Okay, so that's a comparison between networklessons.com and INE. Let's talk about CBT Nuggets as well. So CBT Nuggets, again, it's more expensive. And again, the reason is that they have got more material. Now, comparing the three of them, Networklessons.com, great for CCNA, CCMP, and going up to CCIE level, routing and switching with Cisco. INE goes across all the different tracks, so it's not just routing and switching. They really focus on the CCIE level, and they're really good. They don't really talk about other vendors, though. INE, both INE and Networklessons.com are Cisco. CBT Nuggets don't just focus on Cisco, they have got courses on just about all the other vendors as well. So they also have Microsoft, VMware, etc. Just like with INE, CBT Nuggets have got lots of different instructors. And again, it's personal preference. I Some of them I think are great. Some of them I think are not so great. Okay. Um, if you are going to watch CBT Nuggets, Jeremy Shiora is on there. Jeremy Shiora is a brilliant instructor. He's the most enthusiastic instructor that I've ever seen. So he makes the courses really entertaining. Keith Barker is on there too. Keith Barker's good. Anthony Sequeira, they've got lots of well-known instructors. So again, I, when, when would you choose CBT Nuggets? You would choose CBT Nuggets if you want to have access to lots of different courses. 
So maybe you're not going to go to such a high level with CBT Nuggets, but if you want foundational knowledge across Microsoft, Cisco, and VMware, CBT Nuggets would be a good choice for that. And again, cost comes into it. So it depends if you're paying for it yourself or if your work is going to pay for it. If your work's paying for it, try and get all three. If you're not going to spring for that, then choose which one is most suitable for you. Okay, so that's it. That pretty much wraps up the review and the comparison with Network Lessons. I have got a special link that you can use if you want to sign up for networklessons.com. So I'll put a link to that in the description. I'll also put it in the video. It should be showing up anytime now as well. If you use that, it doesn't cost you any extra. And I get a small cut of the sign up, which helps me continue to make these videos for you. So that would be great if you wanted to try that out. Okay, that's a lot. See you in another video.